Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. I was sent a scenario by someone from the Discord server, so we're going to take a look at the Flesh Eaters scenario. Where are you? That's it. By Nightmare Fuel. I know what you're going to say before you start the scenario, but Google can't answer a simple question. The question being, what was the disease in Cabin Fever called? Uh, oh, right. Movie Cabin Fever. Can't say I know a ton about it, but it's something about, like, flesh-eating bacteria and stuff like that, right? Basically peels their skin off like wet paper towel. Starts in the USA, you'll be playing there. Okay. Um, sure, that's one heck of an intro. All right. I don't know what Google said, but it's that thing. Hooray! ATP Boost Darwinist, Aquasite Extreme File, and Symptostasis. Normal difficulty, and I guess PAX 12, because I don't really care. Although the scenario was based on a movie, it probably won't... wouldn't be hard or easy. Okay, at some moments you'll find out that some symptoms don't match up with the movie. You're going to be infecting well over one billion times the amount of people that got infected. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. It's just flesh-eating bacteria, basically, right? I don't know, can't say I'm super familiar with the movie franchise, but I'm guessing that's what it is. Alright, for transmissions we have drinking water. Like in the movie, it spreaded through drinking water. This will not get past any filter. Uh, okay, we gotta start with that. Then we have drinking water too. Most filters, uh, some filters on the boasts, but not all. Bacteria attaches itself onto air particles inside airplane filter, but gets rejected most of the time. And I'm too lazy to put in the time and effort to do livestock, bird, and rodent, so here they all are. I mean, why sell yourself short like that? That's what I want to know. Why bother? It's perfectly okay just to put them in there. It's not like it's that hard. I mean, you put the effort into this entire scenario, you might as well, right? Slight discomfort. Patient gets minor headaches and stomach aches on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, slight craziness. So it's going to be like slight discomfort, mild discomfort, severe discomfort, and just kind of escalates from there? Maybe. I don't know. Patient overreacts and becomes physical in minor verbal agreements. Agreements. Yes. When I'm having a, an agreement with my, my, my friends... It often gets physical. I don't know. Easy cuts and bruises. Person gets cuts and bruises easier, but doesn't seem to notice. Adrenaline. The person becomes energe energetic and strong, doesn't seem happy towards other people. I mean, yeah, the, the, the more energetic and stronger you are, the more antisocial you are. That's just the law of nature, right? I'm pretty sure. Whispers. Infected hear soft whispers that other can't. Some are barely influential. There, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, just to make sure you understand this is slight, just to make sure you understand this is barely influential, just to make sure you only get through some filters, it's like, okay, I get it, I get it, it's mild, it hasn't ramped up to full strength yet, thank you, I appreciate it, but I do understand. We have cold resistance, heat resistance, drug resistance, and numbness, people don't feel slight pain, like paper cuts or a thorn, people don't feel slight pain, hmm, so SEPA, basically, right? Uh, for those of you who don't know, SEPA is uh, a disorder where basically you have no sense of touch or feeling pretty much at all. And it sounds pretty good, like I can survive any sort of pain. Yeah, but the thing is, pain is actually a good thing. If I broke my toe, I kind of need to feel the pain so I know not to walk on it and make it worse. People with SEPA don't know, so every time they take a fall, they have to check their basically their entire body to see if anything broke, because they would never be able to tell. It's a horrible way to live, but what can you do? All right, let's go for the water transmission. Um, apparently, I'm going to have to save up for zoonosis since the person was too late. Here's the thing. I understand you were too lazy, th so you threw them all in here, but you don't understand. By breaking them up, you make the three of them affordable. Now I can't have any of them until much later, or I have to just save up for no good reason. And by the way, for some reason, we didn't get anywhere near New England. This time around, the game has decided we're going to be sticking around to the western, northwestern side of the United States. Huzzah. All right, well, I guess we will save up for the zoonosis because it is usually pretty good. People are going slightly crazy. Ever so slightly crazy? You calling me crazy, buddy? I am calling you crazy. We're going to go for the zoonosis. Now we have all of them. We have the birds. We have the rodents, and we have the livestock. We're better in urban and rural environments. And also we cross borders a little bit easier. I don't know. Something. Um, let's go for uh, more air. Extreme filtration, the bacteria gets through all of the filters. All of them, I tell you. Festival of Love, the United States. It sounds about right. Um, yeah, well, starting in the United States is a little bit rough, unfortunately, because until you get, like, some sort of drug resistance, you're kind of screwed, and there ain't nothing you can do for a good long time. What do we got for symptoms? Insanity. 
Okay, so it did go from slight craziness and escalated up to insanity. The person becomes absolutely insane and begins to hurt themselves in any way. Highly dangerous with total numbness. Because they can't even feel how much they're hurting themselves. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That said, self-destructive tendencies are no joke. That is actually kind of a horrific thing. Something I've witnessed uh, firsthand and it's not, uh, it not pretty. I, I, uh, I highly discourage that. But anyway... Do you want to go for insanity, slight discomfort? I mean, we can get a tiny little bit of infectivity with some of this. We did get some lethality because people got crazy and started getting physical. Let's go for whis whispers. Let's just let's just really ramp up this whole insanity thing. By the way, where, where's the skin going to peel off like a wet paper towel? Because that's what you promised me, and so far I'm not seeing any of that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it's on the way. Um, we probably want to save up for some drug resistance. At this point, I was kind of expecting we'd start ramping up a little bit faster in the United States, but... No, we're, we're pretty much getting absolutely nothing. We have slight discomfort. Hooray. What else do we unlock from that? Nausea. Bacteria gets in the stomach and gets nauseous from that happening. Okay, so does the bacteria get nauseous? Or does the patient get nauseous? See, the way you phrase that sentence is not as easy to tell. <laughs> ah, I'm railing on you because there's really nothing to do. <laughs> I'm just sitting around waiting until I get enough DNA to do anything. There we go, some drug resistance. That should help a little bit, right? Please, for the love of God, help a little bit. I don't like starting in the United States. It's uh, it's a rough place to start. Pretty good medicine there, turns out. Expensive as hell, but pretty good. We're going to Japan. Oh, hooray. More wealthy nations that I can't do much of anything in. Well, we're starting to hit up a little bit of a critical mass in the United States. The problem is I have a tiny bit of lethality, and I'm a little worried that we're going to get detected pretty early on. We will see. Good. Got into the uh, Saudi Arabia. Perfect. Let's go for uh, water. So I assume that the water transmission and uh, air transmission do affect planes and ships, right? I have no idea if drinking water is supposed to affect anything, but I have to imagine we are getting onto our boats and our planes a little bit faster than we had before. Which is still pretty good in my view. 25, and this doesn't appear to do anything. It says it does nothing. I don't know if it's supposed to give me some resistances, but since the author hasn't specified, I'm not going to waste 25 DNA on something like that. Instead, we're going to go for a bit of cold resistance so I can spread a little faster in places like Canada and Russia. Um, and the United States is considered temperate, so we could go for a little bit of heat resistance as well. Numbness is pretty good. It's a bit of lethality, but it's pretty darn infective, so we'll pick up a level of that. I do need to make sure I get myself some more severity, because right now, we are having some trouble with that. Let's go for easy cuts and bruises. So I get more DNA from these bubbles eventually. Skin peeling! There it is! One or two layers of skin slowly peel off like as if... Like as if they had a blister. Peel off like as if. That's a phrase. Boom! Grab it. Then we have bone weakening. The person has bones that are 50% weaker than normal. Slows research speed, but increases the requirement. Requirement of what? I mean, are, are you trying to say it recre increases the requirement for research so it slows down... So it slows research speed and also is a genetic reshuffle in that it, like, changes the... Well, then why'd you say but? Because it sounds like both of those are complementary. I'm confused. I don't know. It's fine. Mexico starts working on the cure. Not too worried about it. If they'd said the United States are working on the cure, I'd be like, oh, crap. But they didn't, so I feel fine. We're going to go for the drinking water to max out a bit more of that infectivity. I will go for some more of the cold resistance since I'm usually more worried about that than I am the hot countries. That said, I imagine we're actually going to have a hard time spreading in Africa, so let's go ahead and grab at least one level of that. And then a bit more drug resistance. Um, and then I guess we can kind of focus on either numbness or going for the symptoms. Numbness does what? More lethality. Anyone can now take a punch and not feel the pain. Yep, that's SEPA. Sounds great, until you realize all the consequences. Schizophrenia. Now they hear voices that are extremely influential. Little influential, very influential. Little crazy, very crazy. You see the theme here. Let's go for some adrenaline because now we're going to hurt people. The body constantly produces adrenaline, making a person incredibly strong and energetic, almost like steroids. I'm pretty sure your heart would give out from that. Pretty confident. I mean, just from the, 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 the sheer amount of adrenaline getting pumped into your system, how can it be anything else? I don't know. I'm amazed we haven't gotten into Greenland yet. For real, though. How Russia's fully infected and hasn't shut down their port, and we haven't gotten into Greenland yet. Oh, this had better not be a troll scenario. It had better not. More numbness. Come on! Send a boat to frickin' Greenland! You have got to be kidding me! Full infectivity! In Norway too, by the way! And nothing! What the crud?! Hey! Get a boat to gosh dang Greenland! Thank you! Good God, I was starting to get a little worried there! 
All right, let's go for the numbness. Then we have num. Uh, let's see. Person can now take a bullet to the arm and feel nothing. Ooh, scary. Total numbness. The person now feels no pain and is highly dangerous. Be extremely cautious evolving the- I don't care. You know who I am? I'm freaking Provis. I'll just do what I want. I can make my own sandwich. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of lethality ramping up there. Uh, let's go for the schizophrenia. Let's go for the natural steroids. Let's go for the nausea. That unlocks organ eaters. The bacteria begin to enter the lungs, stomach, liver, etc., and eats away at the tissue, causing internal bleeding. There we go. That seems thematically appropriate. We got flesh-eating bacteria, and the consequence is it gets inside your skin, and it dissolves your own organs. Pick it up. That's it. That's all we got as far as symptoms. Okay, transmission. Don't see a point of this. Abilities. Only thing to do is start slowing down the cure. Genetic hardening one and two. Oh, we have no genetic reshuffle. Well, I sure as heck hope we don't have to worry about that. Certainly doesn't look like it. There are no healthy people left in the world, which means this is all but a foregone conclusion. Uh, I can't even afford the environmental hardening. I was just doing that for the heck of it. But there we go. So the world is going to die. So I don't know a whole lot about the Cabin Fever uh, movie series. Never really interested me that much. I'm assuming it's supposed to be some sort of flesh-eating bacteria, but maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a maybe it's a, a horror disease that's fictional and just really destroys you. So maybe all these symptoms are completely uh, accurate to the movie. I really couldn't say. I can't judge it on those grounds. Um, I would say don't don't downplay yourself by saying you're too lazy to do zoonosis and break things up. Just go ahead and put in the effort. I know you put in a lot of effort making this scenario. It's obvious. I know it takes a while. So go ahead and just go finish it. Do something you're really proud of there. And maybe for the scenario description, don't start with saying, I can't find the thing. It's it. Just go for it. Say this is based on this in the movie Cabin Fever and then give a good description. You know, there's some things there that are about marketing, I suppose. If you're going to make a good scenario, I want to see some confidence from the creator. And I'm not saying that you're not exactly confident. I'm saying you're, gonna, you're kind of... I don't know. You're downplaying yourself, and I don't think you need to do that. Market yourself, be confident, go out there, give it some oomph, and you'll be fine. Overall, the scenario is okay. Doesn't seem that bad to me. Uh, again, I can't really speak to the subject matter, so I'll go ahead and say yes, I enjoyed it. But if you guys have some suggestions as far as how to improve the scenario, then by all means, leave some suggestions down in the comments for Nightmare Fuel to read, and I'm sure he would appreciate that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.